ain't that a fancy looking police car? Yeah, looks like the train has stopped. You can't get across the tracks. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? Nice graffiti on the sides. Just beautiful. Nice dreary day. Drive over to my old alma mater, Winthrop University. Any of y'all thinking about going to college? This is where I went back in the 90s. Graduated in 2001. Got a four year degree in history of all things. A lot of good that degree has done me so far. <laughs> but also got a minor in geology here as well. So I know a little bit about not just the dawn of man, but the dawn of time. So as soon as the signal changes, we'll take a quick tour through Winthrop. All right, here we go. This is mostly an arts college. They do have a business program I've thought about pursuing, but I got enough in student loans already. Let's see the parking police. Had fun with them back in the day because parking here is limited. But they've gotten better since I graduated, I guess. Better late than never. Over here is the science buildings, or what used to be. This is where I went for my geology minor. I think that's all expanded to these new buildings over here. This used to be a road, and they've paved it up for a big walkway, I guess. So we'll just drive around. In this building is where I got my history major. Across the way is the library bookstore for all your college books, which are redamnedicularly priced. got an international program. Had a lot of uh, exchange students that go to Winthrop. This building, which I think is one of the oldest buildings on campus, Tillman Hall, yeah, 1894 when it was built. This is where you go for your registration, signing up and getting enrolled. And these are some more of the art buildings way back in the day this used to be an all-girls college and can't remember the exact year this went uh, co-ed but uh, yeah I mean not a bad school but you know if you're looking more into the IT programs um, yeah, there's not a whole lot they offer here. Mostly it's just arts. And, uh, yeah, these are the new buildings they've built in the last few years. These are all under construction. They're all new now. This is where I believe the science programs and courses are taught. And nice stop sign for no reason. And over here, I guess, are the dorms if you live on campus. 
We got a amphitheater. And not sure of these new buildings, but like I said, these are all new here, so I'm not familiar with what all is taught. And uh, yeah, those new buildings I forgot to mention as I passed by them are new dormitories for on campus living. Yep, those are all new. You got old dorms and new dorms. Yep, and across the street is the McDonald's, which they just rebuilt last year to make it all state of the art. All right, beat the traffic here. Yep, so these are dorms for on-campus living. These are the these have been here for a long time. So that's a pretty decent sized campus. It's growing. I'm sure the course curriculum has expanded a little bit as well, but like I said, it's been 10, 11 years since I've been here, so. Okay, and we'll drive past uh, these signals. I tell you, they're not in sync. We'll drive past the uh, old bookstore here. Okay, ATM and security. This is if you ever have any problems, you can always contact security. Some more buildings here. I can't remember exactly what those are for. And, yeah, this is the back side of, uh, I believe that's the cafeteria, or it used to be, so, yep, and this is the expansion parking, so you have to walk a long distance to your courses, so, anyway, there you go, brief tour of my old college, thanks for watching.